A big thanks to Master Build for sponsoring this video. I know you want to put flavor on your steak. You want to put spices on, but you can't grill them just like that. You're going to burn them. I've got a secret trick that's going to prevent your spices from being burned on your steak. So you can enjoy this steak as it was meant to be. For this trick, I will use this steak. This is a skirt steak and it's one of my favorite steaks. Now you can use any steak that you like for this trick. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna make it look pretty first. Always start out with a sharp knife. Then I'm gonna start by taking off this outside silver skin. And I think my sharp knife just scared the silver skin out of this piece of meat. <laughs> That's kind of funny, or is it only funny to me? Now I'm gonna square this up, I'm gonna trim off the edges, and then you have this beautiful piece of meat. Now it looks like a proper steak, a beautiful piece of meat that we're gonna grill on the master build. So let's fire it up. Normally this will be the moment that you would season your steak and then grill it and burn your spices. I'm going to skip that step in my method. I'm going to grill this steak as it is. I'm grilling this steak over direct heat on a cast iron grill grate. I want a beautiful Maillard effect on the outside because that Maillard effect means flavor. And you can recognize that Maillard effect by browning of the meat. Now that I got a beautiful crust on the outside, it's time to show you my trick. And that is putting all the spices into a mayonnaise. This mayonnaise consists out of two whole grilled onions, a grilled bell pepper, the juice of a lime, garlic clove, a bunch of parsley, three chili d'arbol, three chili de pasilla, two chili de gallo, and three Carolina reapers. half a tablespoon of salt, and 200 milliliters of creamy rich mayonnaise. Of course, I had to perform a quick taste test. Mm. And this stuff is like an atomic bomb of flavor. And with a brush, I'm going to carefully brush that onto my steak, which is almost done, and cover it completely. Then I'm gonna flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. As you can see, the mayonnaise is starting to render down. Mayonnaise consists 95% of oil, which is frying the outside and the spices, dripping off into the grill, but the spices stay on the steak. And that's the real magic. And there it is, a beautiful grilled steak with all of the spices and herb on the steak without being burned. You can see the Maillard effect, the browning of the steak, you can see a little bit of that leftover mayonnaise, but more importantly, you see the spices sitting there. A little bit of the parsley, the peppers, all of it's there. Let's open it up and take a look inside this steak. That is one beautiful juicy steak. Now, of course, I have to cut it against the grain. Give this a try. Oh, spicy, delicious, flavorful. That's how I like my steak. Not burnt. Don't burn your steak, man.